Oh my god. I don't know about you coaches out there, but that season was a little rough on me and real rough on this office. That's looking like a you know what hole right now. I gotta clean this up. That's a lot better. I feel better now. Uh, don't they say something like cluttered desk equals a cluttered mind? I don't know. It sounds like that should be a saying. But anyway, I'm back. Didn't do any videos over the season. I hate I didn't. Wish I could have. Hopefully next year I'll be able to. Uh, now that I kind of get more of in a routine, know, know exactly how things are going to go. Uh, if you watch some other videos, keep up with me on social media. You know that this was my first season at a school called Hebrew Christian Academy, working for Jeff Saturday, former Colts center, uh, worked with Peyton, was at last season was at uh, the Packers with Rodgers. Uh, learned a ton from him, learned a ton from the experience. Uh, I was also first year as an OC, so I had a lot more responsibility on my hands. And I knew what came with being an offensive coordinator, everything that I had to do. I just wasn't quite aware of how I was going to do it. If you've seen some other videos, I've got four kids, two are young, and I'm grateful that I don't take this for granted because I'm one of the few men in the country that could say they coach high school football and get to spend a lot of time with their kids. Sometimes I think it's too much time, but when they're grown, I'll be glad I did. But anyway, um, so I couldn't do too much during the day. I, I wasn't, I didn't teach, didn't have any time in uh, free period or anything like that. Um, I, was, I was at home, wife is at nursing school a lot. So my choices were either in the early in the morning or late at night. And if you know me at all, early in the morning was not going to be an option. So basically after the kids were in bed, stayed up even longer, watch, uh, watch some TV with my wife, got to keep her happy obviously. And then about midnight I started doing practice scripts, evaluating yesterday's practice. Uh, working on call sheets, all that stuff that watching film, all that stuff that it entails. And so my usual night was between 12 to 4 a.m. Uh, working on working on everything. Um, and I not like I didn't sleep for four months. My kids do a good job. They sleep till 9, 10. So I got some sleep. But just that grind and that routine kind of caught up with me to where when it was over. That's what I was kind of talking about, like the hangover of the season and recovering from that. And I'm guessing it feels like a hangover. I wouldn't know. I, I remember I worked for a Christian school, so I don't know anything about that. But anyway, uh, again, I learned a ton. I'm probably going to do a video of things, go deeper into some of the stuff that I learned. But I want to keep this one pretty short, just kind of give you an update on uh, how things are going, what, what we're going to do later um, in this offseason. I'm really excited. I'm, 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 my brain has switched to the quarterback development stuff. Last weekend, uh, I got to work at a QBA camp uh, with Darren Slack and a bunch of great other great coaches. Got to work with 30 plus quarterbacks. Really got the juices flowing again to, to work with quarterbacks and go from there um, through this whole whole season, off season. So what I wanted to talk about today, give you some value, not instead of just telling you, hey, how's it going? This is what I've been up to is what as a quarterback you should be working on this is obviously for the parents to help guide their kids coaches wondering what they should be doing with with guys so everybody's different obviously if you're a kid that had a deep playoff run and you just season just finished take a few more weeks off take another week or two off okay let let you, that no days off is crap all right you got to recover you got to rest mentally and physically because if it turns into a 365 day grind for you with football, then it's you're not gonna be able to wake up every morning ready to go. And trust me, I see the joke about QB 365, but it's the mindset of being a quarterback 365 days a year that I'm trying to strive for for you guys. Not every single day is throwing a football, doing footwork drills, that's ridiculous. So what you should be doing, okay, if you've had some time off, so maybe you're a freshman and you and your season was your ninth grade season was over in like week seven, so that's six weeks ago, and you didn't do too much in scout team, so you're ready right now. You you're ready to go. You want to get better. 
here's the best way to get better. You need to really evaluate yourself, how you throw the football, what you need to work on, because here's the deal. We're middle of December right now. We've got from now until really late in the spring before we're really going to get evaluated and have to throw under pressure and compete. Okay, you, there might be some some camps that you probably shouldn't go to anyway that you're gonna have you're gonna be evaluated on, but we're talking about competing for starting high school jobs, college jobs, even youth jobs, being your eighth grade starting quarterback. So now's the time to work on those mechanical things because those take time to integrate into your into your brain and your throwing motion, and if you only try to work on that two weeks before the spring practice. Nothing's going to be nothing's going to be set to where you're always going to be thinking about something. You're not going to be able to perform. I want you to be able to make some make a, two or three changes that you need to make. Maybe you just have one major one. Maybe maybe you don't have really anything major, but there's just one or two things that can give you a little bit more velocity or a little bit more control of the ball, more consistency, whatever. But if you can work on those things now, you've got plenty of time. What I think won't help you is a lot of footwork drills right now. And don't get me wrong, footwork is very important, but you've got so much time to work on that stuff. Um, throwing a lot of reps, just getting reps, like throwing routes to receivers that aren't even on your team with, with these big group trainings. Those are like the, the empty reps that I'm not sure you're getting a lot out of. Make sure we're not confusing activity with productivity. All right. I want you to be able to use this time to really get all out, get everything you can out of it. And you also should be in the weight room too, as long as you're obviously seventh, eighth, ninth, and older. Make sure you're lifting because you want some, you want to build that strength up right now. Because when you get late, hotter months, you're going to be doing. That's when you're going to do a lot of the conditioning and things like that. And then you go right into the season where you get beat up for three months. So now is a good time to build that that strength up that power and so and gain that weight to, to help you all through this off season and into next season. So weight room, work on those mechanics. If, if you want to do some, I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I'm not mad at you if you want to go work a lot on footwork and pocket presence and escaping the pocket. Uh, but if there's issues with your throwing motion, now's the time to work on them because if you don't, they're always going to limit you. Don't try to wait until April to try to work on that one thing that you know is an issue. If you play other sports, I get it. You're, 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 you're got, you've got to look at yourself and your schedule and your year and figure out when you can devote time on that. I'm not saying don't play basketball or anything like that. But if you've got the time right now, you really need to put that time and effort and thought into how you throw the football, how you need to improve. If you need help with that, any guidance, obviously I'll, I'll be able to help. I'll put all my info at the end. Make sure you're, you're keeping up. Hit that subscribe button if you're watching this on YouTube. Follow me on all the social medias, they'll be at the end. And, and just really focus on what you can do to be as productive as you can, not just be as active as you can this off season. Thanks for watching. I'm super excited about the this offseason. We're going to do a lot of cool stuff. We're going to put some old school breakdowns in. We're looking at kids. Uh, we're going to talk a lot about what I'm doing for online training with guys all over the, the world with video and the new modus leave and sensors that I've been talking about some on social media. So make sure you're keeping up with me. I'm, I'm super excited, ready to go, ready to help you guys throw better. Daddy, when you're done, we need to die another day. Okay. It's getting dark. I know. Crazy.